Hi, welcome all of you once again to my class. My name is Jewel and today I am going to take the continuation of lesson 1. This is of class 2. I am dealing with ICC syllabus Cordoba publications. Please like, share and please subscribe to my channel if you like to hear my further chapters from this textbook. Now let's go to the exercise part of this lesson. Tick the correct answer in each. What does Shalu decide to do? A. Find it to B. Find the environment. C. Sleep. It is find the environment. Number 2. What does Shalu find under her bed? A. Dust. B. Tittu. C. Cat. It is A. Dust. Number 3. A dirty environment can make us dash sick. Fill in the blanks. Shalu smells something in the air like smoke. S-M-O-K-E. Smoke. Shalu washes her hands and face and combs her hair. H-A-I-R. Air. The hair that A-I-R, the hair that we breathe is a part of the environment. Number 4. Titu. T-I-T-O. Titu helps Shalu to know what the environment is. Read and answer the following questions. What does Shalu's teacher tells the class? She tells the class that the environment is getting dirtier day by day. Number 2. Where was the smoke coming from? The smoke was coming from the garbage that her neighbors were burning. Number 3. How does a clean environment help us? A clean environment helps us to become strong and healthy. Number 4. Where can we find the environment? We can find the environment wherever we look. It is the air, water, soil and food. Everything around us makes the environment. Who said these lines and to whom? Where is it now? That is Shalu said this to Tittu a squirrel. Number 2. The environment is everywhere you look. That is Tittu said this to Shalu. Next we have what's question. Everything around us makes the environment. Why do you think it is important to keep the environment clean? It is important to keep the environment clean because it, is, it will help us to breathe in clean hair, eat healthy food and live in clean conditions. Now, nouns. Read the following sentences. Shalu goes to school daily. The squirrel is eating a walnut. The words Shalu, school, squirrel and walnut are nouns. Shalu is the name of a person. School is the name of a place. Squirrel is the name of an animal. And walnut is the name of a thing. Nouns are the name of a person, place, animal and thing. Now, nouns are given here. Pick out the nouns from the box and put them in the correct columns. So, doctor, boy, elephant, dolphin, hospital, rickshaw, Arjun, post office, Tree, school, computer and donkey. So you have to put this in correct columns. Under person comes doctor, boy and Arjun. Under place comes hospital, post office and school. Under animals comes elephant, dolphin and donkey. Under things comes rickshaw, tree and computer. Now from the following sentences write the names of animals in the green box. And the name of place in the pink box. You have to write the name of the animals in the green and pink. A, a cow lives in a shed. So a cow is the name of an animal. It lives in a shed. Number 2. A lion lives in a den. So lion and den. Number 3. A rabbit lives in a burrow. So rabbit and burrow. Number 4. A horse lives in a stable. So horse and stable. Number 5. A dog lives in a kennel. So dog and kennel. Nouns male and female. Nouns tell whether the person or animal is a female or a female. Example cock. Cock is a male. Hen is a female. Now match the males in column A with their females in column B. So these are the male. First box is the males and this is the female box. So uncle. What is the female of uncle? Uncle is aunt, then bull, cow, horse, mare, lion, lioness, father, mother. Now, in the following sentences, change the male nouns to female nouns and the female nouns to male nouns. 
there is a boy under the tree so what is they telling they have to change the male to female and female to male so there is a boy under the tree so your boy is a male so what is the female the girl there is a girl under the tree my sister is a naughty girl so my sister will become brother my brother is a naughty girl will become boy number 3 the king was found of new dresses the king king will become queen hmm number 4 the peacock is on the terrace so peacock what is the female of peacock peahen is dog is a doctor is is son is a doctor so what is the female daughter is a doctor now nouns one and more than one to show more than one thing we add s e s i e s or v e s to the nouns example one boy three boys one glass two glass now down and across you have to write words down and across more than one dish so it is called dishes then more than one nest it is nests more than one life it is lives l i v e s lives then more than one diary it is diaries more than one table it is tables more than one box it is boxes now nouns common and proper read the following sentence shalu has new shoes delhi is a city in the given sentence shalu and delhi are proper nouns and shoes and city are common nouns shalu is the proper name of a girl delhi is the proper name of a city places and persons have proper names pets also have proper names remember proper nouns always begins with a capital letter now circle the common nouns and underline the proper nouns in the following sentence number 1 rashmi bought a new dress so which is the proper noun rashmi is the proper noun common noun is dress number 2 mr sharma is my father so mr sharma is the proper noun and father is the common noun number 3 my mother is a doctor so mother here there is no proper noun only common nouns mother and doctor number 4 delhi is the capital of india so which is the proper noun here delhi and india and which is the common noun capital number 5 my grandmother lives in shimla so which is the proper noun shimla is the proper noun grandmother is the common noun the rose is a beautiful flower so in this sentence there is common noun rose and flower number 7 tommy is my pet dog so tommy is the proper noun underline and circle dog my neighbor is a teacher so neighbor is a there is no proper noun common nouns are neighbor and teacher neethi and geetu are my cousins so neethi and geetu they are proper nouns and cousin is common noun number 10 manish is my best friend manish is the proper noun and friend is a common noun now given below a few nouns write whether they are common noun or proper noun basket it is common noun tanuj proper noun mumbai it is proper noun father it is common noun tiger it is common noun christmas it is proper noun april it is proper noun ganga it is proper noun then describe the given picture using common and proper nouns one is done for you you can see the picture of the taj mahal this is taj mahal it is a beautiful building it is made of white marble and it is in agra then they are tom and jerry tom is a cat and jerry is a mouse they make children laugh then rose this is an indian rose it is red in color it has many petals it is a beautiful flower the next is giraffe this is a giraffe it is a wild animal it has a long neck it is found in africa now fill in the blanks with the opposites of the highlighted words and choose the words from the box you have to write the opposite of this highlighted words are those summer clouds big no they are small big opposite small are they going very fast no they are going very slow opposite of fast is slow are these clouds dry 
no they are wet opposite of dry wet is the little boy crying what is the opposite of crying laughing is this pillow soft what is the opposite of soft hard now circle the odd one cloud sky rain trees here trees is the odd one angel summer winter spring here angel is the odd one sun moon water and earth which is the odd one water is the odd one rain river soft and snow which is the odd one soft is the odd one smile boy cry laugh which is the odd one boy is the odd one angry happy sad work which is the odd one work is the odd one now use the capital letter and a full stop to complete each sentence one is done for you here small s is given so you have to write shalu is happy dash here you have to write capital letter t the people are smiling a capital a smile makes everyone happy now anita is shalu's friend now look at the picture and answer the questions hints are given in the box to help you what does shalu do when she meets anita shalu smiles when she meets anita what does shalu do when she is angry with anita shalu frowns when she is angry with anita what does shalu do when she gets hurt shalu cries when she gets hurt oh i hope you all understood the grammar part of this lesson please share this with your friends and relatives and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please send your comments okay children i'll meet you in the next class until then bye